prison. A word when uttered evokes energy so bleak that it arrests every positive thought or emotion. The mere idea of being held captive throws one's hopes, desires, and dreams into confinement, only to be replaced with thoughts of failure, regret, and hopelessness. The mere utterance of this word causes one's mind to be tainted with darkness and one's emotions to succumb to the coldness of being forgotten. Smiles are occasionally worn as masks, purposed not to permit a friendly appearance, but to help disguise the fear, discouragement, and fluctuating so-called timorousness of every captive inmate. Believe it or not, this is a place we are all familiar with, and it's a place where we have lived or visited at some point along the journey. You may be thinking, I have never visited a prison, but on the contrary, you have. You may not have physically set foot onto Alcatraz, Chateau d'If, Amina Castle, or Rikers Island, but we have all experienced the bitter, agonizing penitentiary of unforgiveness. You see, the twisted nature of this prison not only deprives us of our independence and liberty, but it also hinders our ability to adequately self-rule. Let me explain. The maddening effect of being victimized and the intense emotional turmoil caused by the offense has the potential to bring instant to our lives spiritually, physically, and emotionally. The warped nature of this prison, ironically yet very subtly, fails to take captive the offender, but rather the offended. This powerful force then creates a domino effect that has the potential to negatively impact every aspect of our lives. If we allow this force to grow, it then invades our worldview, outlook, judgment, perspective, integrity, and character. And though I cannot leave out our relationships, our relationship with God, our relationship with ourselves and our relationship with others. Nothing is left unaffected. This invisible yet dangerous influence is like a storm that stealthily brews in the depths of our souls, growing with each passing day until it can no longer be detained. And if one fails to seize it as it increases in strength, this all-consuming force becomes one with our identity and the story of our lives are viewed through the lens of hurt. Have you ever experienced Captivity such as this? Have you ever closed your eyes in the dead of night only to find yourself viewing the script of 
have your broken heart. Who are the main characters in this script? That dreadful bully at work or school? Your demeaning teacher or boss? Your absent father? Trauma that yielded the end of your innocence? Your abusive parent or maybe your unloving spouse? Have you ever experienced a mental fight that only gives way to disappointment with self? Or an even more disastrous dilemma, disappointment with God? If you have experienced a captivity such as this as a result of unforgiveness, I would like to invite you to look beyond the pain beyond the anger and beyond the resentment. There is hope. Do you see the glimmer of sun fighting to pierce through the entrance of your dark tunnel? Imagine a life free of despair and resentment. A life where you are able to rise above the hurts and fly against the resistance. Have you ever imagined a life where you can soar to higher heights despite the trauma in your past, even when others through the force of offense have attempted to clip your wings? A life where you are no longer the victim, but the victor. This life is possible. 